Hello everybody, in today's video I will be unboxing the Seraphim Sakamini album, Anti-Fragile. These are the free book versions and I also do have an extra compact version to unbox at the end. I'm sorry if I sound a little weird and different but I got ill so... <laughs> But yes, we have the uh, volume 1, volume 2, and volume 3 versions. So we'll start with the first volume. So this is the volume 1, the Midnight Onyx version. So the front here with the track listing at the top. The back with this. I really don't like this packaging. I wish they would do normal book packaging, but instead we have this. Those are the spines, and then it opens like so. This is Anti Fragile, the Seraphim, and then it has this paper with everything inside. And then we have the photo book underneath. The front, the back with the track listing again, and the spine. I really did like this release from the Seraphim. <laughs> I think Anti Fragile is a really fun song. And it's definitely, like, evolved the music style. We start with Tillon. I'm really impressed with her. I didn't know if she would, like, suit these type of songs, but she really does. She's really impressed me. <laughs> being in the Seraphim. They have the lyrics for the Hydra. Just a weird thick page. We have Sakura. Looking gorgeous as always. I love this little hat they gave her <laughs> with the bunny ears. And then we have the lyrics for Anti Fragile. We have Yinjin with her blonde hair. I really like that you got the like different personality in each of the photos for the numbers. And we have unit photos too. It's so pretty. And we have the lyrics for impurities. The B sides are also really good. Kazwa. I love Kazwa so much. I love her parts in the songs. I'm really happy that she debuted with La Seraphim. I think she's like. I think she's doing so well in the group. We have the lyrics for No Celestial. And then we have Magne Unte. She also did super well with this release. Like, she has that fast dance part, and I think she does so well. Look at her, she's so pretty. This is so adorable. I have the lyrics for good parts when the quality is bad, but I am. I love this. I love this photo. And a group image as well. And with the thanks to's for all the members. And the credits. That was the photo book. Then we have so many inclusions, starting with the poster. It, 
I think the posters are random as the <laughs> version does not match the album, but it's still very pretty. We have the sticker sheet, which looks like this. The individual anti-fragile stickers. The Weavers shop, which do feel free to steal this. I don't mind, I promise. We have the CD in this very plain envelope. It looks like this. The designs this era are not very um, different, I suppose. We also have the Crimson Heart prologue. This is the like graphic novel webtoon project that Hybe have been doing with other artists. But it is in Korean. With a few illustrations through the book. And it seems like it might also have translations as it's written in Japanese and English as well. But that is the Crimson Heart prologue. Then we have the random postcard and you might have seen earlier but I did get the Frozen Aquamarine version. They are all group postcards with all the girls. And then we have the photo card. Let's see. Is it Yunjin? It looks like Yunjin. It's Yunjin! Oh, she looks really pretty. This, this photo card is really gorgeous. This is the pack as well, and this looks to be from the Frozen Aquamarine version as well. That was everything for Volume 1. And so, moving into Volume 2, this is the uh, iridescent opal version. <laughs> does say it right there, it's a little hard to see, but this is the front, again with the track listing, the back, and the spines. things. <laughs> so I will start with the photo book. And yes, this looks to be the more glamorous version. And we start with the legs with the Hydra. Then we have Dylan. And it also has the gemstone at the bottom with some lyrics from the songs. Have the lyrics for Empty Fragile with a unit image, and then we have Yunjin, 
And yes, it also has some information about her gemstone, which is emerald. I wonder if this will be like a thing going forward with the seraphim. It might just be for this album. The lyrics for impurities. And then we have Kazla. I think this version is definitely the most bland. Like, it's still pretty, but I feel like many groups do these styles and photo books. I really love Unche with those hearts. <laughs> We have the lyrics for No Celestial. And then we have Unche. She is really pretty. We have the lyrics for good parts when the quality is bad, but I am. And then we have Sakura. It looks like all the members are wearing their um, individual hues as well. We had Unche in red and Sakura in pink. I'm really glad we got to see this hairstyle for Sakura. Though, I don't think we've seen her with this style for a very long time. Oh, this is really pretty. <laughs> so many lens flares though. I love this image. <laughs> Don't know, this is just so, so gorgeous. Now we have the thanks to's. And the credits. And so starting again, we have the poster, and this time I have the Frozen Aquamarine version. So they are definitely random. I really love the styling for this version. I think it will be my favourite. We have the same anti-fragile stickers. These same anti-fragile stickers. We have the CD, which is also the same. We have the Crimson Heart Prologue, which is also the same. Then we have the random postcard. And I did get the Frozen Aquamarine version again, <laughs> but it's not too bad. <laughs> At least it has all the girls. And then we have the photo card. Let's see. Is this Chowan? It looks like Chowan. It is Chowan. Oh, that's so adorable though. She's eating like um those sour, like long sweets. That is so pretty. And it's the frozen aquamarine version again. But that's such a pretty Chowan photo card. Like so gorgeous. That is everything for volume two. And then last but not least we have volume three which is the frozen aquamarine version. We have the front, the back, and the spines. I really don't like how this album sits. Like they've put too much into it and so it doesn't like sit properly. It's not good. <laughs> These stickers are so annoying. the photo book for this version. It's 
starts with the track listing. This already looks so pretty. We have that image from the poster that we saw. And then lyrics for the Haija. And we're starting with Sakura. She looks amazing. She looks so pretty. I love this version. I knew when I saw the teasers this would probably be my favourite style from the versions. And it definitely is. I think she looks stunning. Is it going to be Kazuha next? No. The flowers do not relate to the mamba. <laughs> I was like, I think I'm being really smart. The flowers are blue and must be Kazuha. It's not. It's Chowan. <laughs> I love the hat they gave her. <laughs> It's really sweet. And I love the like flowers they've used. With the lyrics for impurities. And then we have Kazla. I love the styling as well, like putting the more summery uh, fashion with this winter setting. I don't really see any groups doing that. I think it's like very unique and so fun. This is such a sweet photo. The lyrics called No Celestial, and we have Yunjin. She looks so powerful. So beautiful. I have the lyrics called Good Parts, and we have Inse with her little blue hair streaks. This is a gorgeous photo. Like she looks totally different in every photo book, but like in a good way. Yeah, the group photos. <laughs> this really looks like advertising, like for a fashion brand. This is a really sweet photo. <laughs> I love how like smiley and happy they are in the group shots with the thanks to's and the credits again. Then we have the poster. It does look like we got all three posters, but not in the albums they match. But we have this poster. Then we have the anti-fragile stickers. These anti-fragile stickers. The CD, which is the same again. The Crimson Heart Prologue, which again is the same. The little Weavers shop thing. And then I think we all saw this Alia, but we did get a different Bruce card, the Iridescent Opal version. Super pretty. And then we have the photo card. Let's have a look. It's Sakura! It's Sakura! I know that I anywhere. Ah, it's Sakura! 
I really thought I wasn't going to pull her this era. Ah! Ah, oh, this is... <laughs> this is, like, the best. It's so pretty, too. Is she wearing, like, a... It might be a dress. I thought it was a bralette for her for a moment, but we have Sakura, and it's also the frozen aquamarine version. I guess, uh, guess this version must like me. But yes, yeah, so we have Sakura's photo card. And so that is everything for the photo book versions, but I do have an additional um, compact version. It was random. I bought it to get free shipping, but we have the emerald version, which is Yinjin. But let's have a look at the poles inside. We got Yinjin! This is so pretty. Her photo cards this era are so pretty. The compact version thing. We have Sakura and Kazuha. For the unit, and we have Kazuha's postcard. So those are my pulls. If you want to see an unboxing for the album, then I will link it above as I did already unbox these. Anyway, that is all for this unboxing. I hope you all enjoyed it, and I'll see you all soon. Bye!